video that we're releasing shows uh, a house at 650 East 6th Street, and it's from last Friday evening, March 24th, and it's from about 11.05 p.m. It does show a person coming out from in between the house and the code buildings, and then the person walks towards Windsor Street on East 6th Street. The video is edited for time, and it does show the person walking down the street and then walking up Windsor Street from East 6th Street. And then the video will cut, and it'll show the actual fire uh, happening within the next five minutes or so. And that's when the original 911 came in. It was about 11.05 p.m. We're looking for assistance from anybody in the public who may recognize this person. And again, it's, it's a video. It's a grainy video. But we're looking for basic descriptions. It appears to be a thin build person. Um, we believe it's a male. It's not been confirmed yet, but we believe that it is a male. Um, as far as an age, we would only be guessing at this point. We're just looking for assistance from the public helping us to try to identify who this person is. And obviously, that many fires in that short period of time is very unusual and very rare. Um, we're not sure if it was because of the, uh, the social media attention that was broadcast because of that. I mean, Facebook and, and Twitter accounts were actually going uh, all over the place that night. Um, but again, we're just looking for any information anybody has on who the suspect may be. Um, fires, even though they are condemned buildings, this is very dangerous, not only to first responders and uh, citizens who may live nearby. In, in this case right here, the 650 East 6th Street, you can see where the fire comes. It's right next door to the code buildings where there are multiple dwellings and multiple people living. So very dangerous. Several ways that they can contact us. One is through our anonymous tips line. 483 tips 483-8477. They can contact us right through the TIPS 411 app right through their smartphones. Or like I said, they can contact the uh, Erie County Crime Stoppers through their, through their online uh, access as well. Or they can call them directly through the number that's listed online.